Welcome to Live Life with Jay. I'm Jay and I want to talk to you today about my why. Why I chose to do this specific channel about personal finance. So before I go into any specific resources or tips, I want to share a little personal backstory about me. I grew up in North Philadelphia where it was considered the bad lands. And for those of you who do not understand what that means, it's the part of the neighborhood with abundance of drug corners, gangs, and a very low income neighborhood. And these are the neighborhoods that they don't really expect anyone to succeed. Like it's just, I expect you to at least finish high school and get a nine to five job. And that's pretty much it. That's what they expect from us, especially in the Latino community, you know, the minority community, especially in this type of neighborhood where it was poverty. We grew up in poverty. Um, I was seven when we moved to North Philadelphia from North Jersey. So for me, it was a culture shock. Um, just having the drug corners, having the, you know, the gangs around and, you know, all these things that I wasn't used to. So I am here as a female, as a minority, a Latina, as a person who grew up in a poverty neighborhood and decided at a young age that I didn't want to be the statistic. I didn't want to be the Latina that became a teen mom or, or didn't graduate from high school or didn't go to college. And this is not an offense to anyone who has been through it, but this is how my brain was processing at that time, living in you know this neighborhood, and I was just taking everything in that was going on around me and I just personally, I didn't want it. So I'm telling you this because this was my reality and I want you to know that this is a judgment-free zone. I'm not here as an expert or a professional. I am here as someone who wants you to follow in our journey of handling money the right way. Why? Why you ask, right? So because we weren't taught this in school, we weren't taught personal finance in school. We weren't taught financial literacy in school. I have a master's degree. And in all of my education, I have completed. I have not taken one personal finance class. Not one personal finance class was provided to me as a requirement. How sad is that? Very very sad and while i'm telling you this you know what i'm thinking that i paid thousands and thousands of dollars for my education that i still owe thousands and thousands of dollars for my education and throughout the whole thing i didn't learn anything about financial literacy personal finance not one and i thought about how would you feel listening to this inner little brown girl who came from the roughest parts of the city to share with you the basics of financial literacy. I can't tell you that I can take you out of poverty, but what I can tell you is how I can try to change your mindset and how we can try to make better decisions of handling our money and managing it. I fought myself with this episode of how much I sh should share, how much I should say, I even struggled of how long I should do this video. And I'm going to continue because that's what I have decided right now. <laughs> Let's talk statistics. Let's say you are in a room with 10 people, friends, family, whoever the 10 people, just imagine them right there. Eight out of those people are living paycheck to paycheck. Basically, people look like they have money, when they really don't and that's a whole nother video but I'm gonna continue with these statistics so why are an American saving money first of all right so a recent study had showed that 80% of Americans are in debt and I was reading some statistics from like 2017 to 2018 and I'll find this the link of where I got it from and I'll put it in the description below but are you ready to hear these statistics? The average cost of living is $57,311. Do you know the average household debt? 
$137,063. Only 41% of Americans have a budget. 44% of Americans can't cover a $400 emergency fund. And 42% of Americans aren't saving for retirement. And when I read these numbers, they're sad to me, very. And with that being said, if I can help one person to change these statistics, it's worth it for me. And that's my why. So I want to be able to assist parents so they can teach their children so that their children can grow up and be the positive parts of these statistics. So before I go, ask yourself these questions. What is your money mindset? Do you know how to do a zero based budget? Do you know how to stick to a monthly budget? Do you know what is a starter emergency fund? Do you know how much you need to live off of for a three to six months? Do you understand the student loan docs? Do you contribute to your retirement? Do you understand compound interest? Do you know what are the important insurances you need? And since education hasn't taught us, we learn from our parents. So what are you teaching your children? And if you are unsure about any of these questions that I've just asked, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe on my website and I'll be going through most of even all of these questions. It's not impossible, but it does require a lot of work. And I can tell you that it's worth it. My husband and I are still in this journey, but we wanted to share resources with you that has helped us. Join us as we stop being the statistic of living paycheck to paycheck. Money is a self-care routine, believe it or not, and we need to get self-disciplined. But let's start with the plan. Thanks for listening to my why. I just want to be able to help as many people as I can to get the resources out there, any tips that can help you, um, anything that can you can pass down to your children, really. Just, I just want to let you know that I will be providing little tiny steps along the way to help you. I'm not going to be throwing big chunks at you, these like normal baby steps they call them, but for us, it's much more than that. For our community, we need the tiniest steps possible. And next week, I'm going to bring you mindset in just a very short video that you could just understand how mindset works. And I may have more parts to it as it goes along because I feel like we can't just throw one video at you and just be like, I expect you to change. Boom. Poof. Right? I'm a genie. Poof. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to work like that. So I am here to try to give you little tiny steps along the way. And I feel that we can do this together. We can do this together. I am here with you, for you, and we can do this together. Absolutely. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications, like the video, share with anyone, comment anything that you want on there. If you have an idea of any questions you may have or ideas for videos that feel like you can that can help other people please let me know if it's something that i know i will do a video on it for you if it's something that i do not know i will find someone who may have the answer to the question and may join me on the video or just someone who may have the answer and i can send it to you so thank you guys so much thanks for watching and i'll see you next week